Alright, what's here? Is this the settlement? I can't properly move for some reason. Oh, because it hadn't loaded yet. That's why. This is a village of undead. That's why it, why it was like this. Okay, so no quests, just carnage. Death and destruction. Yeah, let's go through the houses, see if there's anything to be picked up. There's a house over here. This is a cooking station, I think. This is just unfinished land. A house that was started but never finished. How sad. And this guy is just carrying a torch. Impressive that he never just you know, dropped it at any point. This one has bonus health. I already have bonus health. I don't need that ring. Is this hat better than mine? No. It is not. Over here is just a rock. Uh, can I get into this house proper? Oh, there's a big one over here. Destroy them. Oh, I could not reach. There we go. That guy's dealt with as well. Just to be sure I'm entering all the houses. In case I miss anything for some reason. The entrance is over here. Ah, this is a helmet. Yeah, a silver cup. Not really something I specifically need, but yeah, good to have, I suppose. And upgrade all of my winter spells. Now all of my winter spells, my water spells are max damage. Uh, this is empty. This is a well. And this house is... It's probably going to be empty as well, but... No. Oh, no, there were there were things in the inside. If I could just enter. Uh, what are these? Potions? Oh, it's wine. And a silver cup. All right, well, there is something over here as well. If I can just get there. Yeah, these are like huts or something. See what they're about. Yeah, there's people. I don't think everything is loaded in, though. I ain't part of the crew. Alright, how do I become part, part of the crew? What is this crew? Who are you? We be a crew of ex-convicts, now making our living as bounty hunters. You better think twice before you're messing with us. And what is this place? We be a tough lot. We boot this place with the coin we earned so far. This is our home base, and no one's taking it from us. Is there any work? Ah, not in the moment. But we're on the lookout for new members. If we can prove your strength, then you might just earn a spot among us. Sure. Why not? You guys are ex-convicts. I'm an ex-corpse. May as well. What will it take to prove it? You want to join us, eh? Well, first, you gotta prove your medal. 
by slaying one of them beasts, a golem roaming in the desert. If he can do that, I'll consider letting you join our ranks. I wanna join. Sure, let's. Let's fight the golem. There's a village down here as well, south of Bara. Yeah, we're definitely gonna travel to all of these places. Alright, I'm in the desert, but I have water. I have spells to survive in the desert. And I'm not gonna need them though, but yeah, just for flavor. I have them. And... Oh, it's a magma. All right, well, that was neat. Uh, Trader's bag. All items in this bag weigh 20% less. Those were all items. I think we'll keep these guys 50% less. Just for specific things. Alright, there everybody called them. I'm gonna put these things in here. Uh, try to... Yeah, because they do now weigh, weigh a lot. Yeah, because this just lowers the weight of gear. I did have a potion that... Oh, yeah, this increases my carry weight. For five minutes. So let's drink it. The talent strong. What talent is that, I wonder? I'm gonna check it in a bit. After I return to deliver my quest, hopefully I can unload some of these items after I become part of the crew. If this is the entire quest, of course. Oh, I unlocked the fast travel. Catch him, there he is. We're here to bring you justice. Uh, nope. Alright, well, that was... Sure. <laughs> God said there should be pies, Dan. Uh, hello, Kudrovsky. Welcome to the forest. Welcome to me just slaughtering people who want vengeance on me. <laughs> How are you? Thank you for the hat pats. Wait, did I pick up a heart? The thing I picked up looked suspiciously like a heart. Uh, where is it? Is there anything here that's heart-shaped? Oh god. Did I just... rip somebody's heart out? Yeah, this is experience. I'm gonna need some experience. The Book of Storms, Rings. Uh, I definitely need to sell items. We can spruce up this place with some extra storage. It'll cost you 1,500. Right, sure, I have the money. Consider it done. A cooking station? It'd be worth it, wouldn't it? For 800, go 800 coins, I do have that. Let's get that cooking station set up, and we'll have ourselves some proper grub. Let's go. That's the dread done. Five beehives for 4,000 coins. Why do you need beehives? Surely there's, like, better things to buy. Sounds tempting indeed. But do we have the coins to make the purchase? Yeah, we do. That's the done, matey. Setting up a dismantling station for 3,000 coins will make a real boon. We can take apart all the junk loot and make good use of it. Yeah, let's get it. That's it, we're done. 
Ah, uh, we can set up a forge for 4,000 coins, and with it, we'll be able to upgrade our weapons and to be, to be deadlier than ever. Set up the forge. God, how much money is this so far? I have not been keeping track. More than 10,000, I think. Alright, we have a forge now. Ah, now we're talking. But we can craft something truly special with an improved forge. But it won't come cheap, maybe. It'll cost us a hefty 10,000 golds and one precious bar of mithril. What's the difference between the two forges? I really want to know. With a forge like that, we can give our weapons a real boost. Shame we don't have it yet. How much money do I have? 50,000? Yeah, I have plenty. Alright, improved forge. God, there's more. Holy, this is a gold sink. 20,000 gold. There'd be a way to move one of them God's favorite shrines here, but it'll cost a hefty 20,000 gold. What be your thoughts on this, maybe? Sure, I'm already deep into this. The sunk cost fallacy, right? <laughs> We've reached our limit in upgrades. Well, that's good, because... I was running low on money anyway. Uh, I really need to go find some merchants. All right. Is any of you a merchant by, by some chance? Alright, how do you upgrade things anyway? This is passable quality. And to make it better, I need some of these. From 3 to 4. Well, that was when I upgrade. Yeah, it's solid quality. And for another 18, I can make it level 5. Where are the items? Yeah, I guess it's gonna be excellent quality now. Yep, it's excellent. What about my spellbook? Spellbook of Earth. I have a spellbook of Storms somewhere, right? Yeah, let's upgrade the spellbook of Storms. I have the magic dust required. It would be better if I had the spellbook of water because I do use mostly ice spells. I mean, at least for now, I'll, it'll have to do, right? Where's the spellbook of rune? Critical hit chance. Uh, this one is the lightning chance. Uh, I don't have another one. Yeah, I'll, I'll upgrade this one. Go through it. There we go. Magic damage. I mean, the Book of Earth, even though it's level 3, it's still somehow better. Better range, better damage. And another one. Okay, now this is a bit better. I feel like that, that may have been a waste, honestly. What do you require? Armor scraps. Which I do not have enough of. I don't have a lot. Alright, oh, that was it. Add the item you wish to dismantle. So what, what would this do? Oh, it will give pieces. So this would give me... Two armor scraps. That's awesome. And I can just do this. If I dismantle this, more armor scraps. This would be... Yeah, more scraps. Yeah, all of them are armor scraps. What about rings? Oh, that would be... Magic dust. I do like me some magic dust. And this is divine magic dust. 
Use it to upgrade the divine spell books. What if I do this? Oh, so gemstones also. I have this mando. Yeah, one will give me three magic dust. That's neat. Man, now I can teleport here. Right, although for now, let's teleport to Bada Village. Because I have like things to sell. I have like a lot of things to sell. I need to get this off of my shoulder. Right after the game loads. Alright, Bucko, let's trade. How much money do you got? Not enough. That will not be enough money, I am afraid. Show this. Come on. Show it. Game. Oh. Glitched out for some reason. And the game crashed. And the game crashed. Okay. Well, that's not a good sign, because, um... Uh, okay. When did I last save? When will... How far back will the game put me? I am honestly afraid to ask. I'm genuinely afraid to ask how far back am I? Uh, 11.06. That is... 12 minutes ago. So when was 12 minutes ago? Oh, that was before the... Uh, that was before the fight, right? Because I saved right at the... Right at the mercenary camp before I joined. Right, so I gotta go kill the golem again, I believe. Now, oh, that's slightly unfortunate that all this happened. But, well, sometimes this is just how it goes, unfortunately. Just waiting for it to load. May as well take a bit of a breather, huh? Let's hydrate. <laughs> there we go. Hydration has been had. Now uh, let's go kill an earth elemental again. I guess that was like a magma lava elemental. It was not just rock it was something more yep i'm here oh well, that that kind of sucks this does also mean we have to wait for all of this to load the game still takes a while to get itself together Alright, I think it's loaded. Yeah, I can turn into a deer. Even though you can't see it, uh, I, I did it. The golem is T-posing. Did it. Oh, yeah, it's dead. Okay.
I feel like there were more things on it last time. Does it actually have less loot now? And I'm probably gonna be met with uh, another attack, right? I have proven it yourself. What I get from it? Yeah, there they are. Thank you. Ah, oh, come on. They're not loading in. Wait, where are they? Wait, did they actually pay the fine by accident? Alright, well... I don't feel like lo loading again. Let's get this over and done with. Come on, come on. Although they did have some fine loot on them. So that's a shame. Alright, yeah, get the beehives. Dismantling station. Set up the forge. Uh, yeah, the improved forge. Yep. Improved that fucker. Improved it good. And the shrine. Here we are. And that seems to be all. Yep. We're now good to go. And uh, I wanted to improve my uh, book of storms with some magic dust. There we go. Um, I want to improve the armor. I probably want to improve the hat, right? Because it also gives MP. So right now it gives 62. Now it's 69. Nice. 75. Magnificent quality. And now it's mythical quality. And this was for dismantling, right? Yeah, this would give one armor scrap. Another one. This also was one. The helmet. Also gives armor scraps. The axe. Now oh, that gives blade parts now. The hunter ring will give some magic dust. This ring as well. What about the bag? Yeah, that gives armor scraps. Okay, I'll save the bag. I'll sell the bag. The bag is good. What about the necklaces? Can Yeah, they can also be dismantled. Uh, the skull was a legendary trophy. I have some more mythical dust. Diamonds? Yeah, they also give mythical dust. And you guys have... What? what is uh, so, uh, something that might be a little bit confusing, especially when I upload this on YouTube. Uh, because <laughs> things happened since the last stream. First of all, the last stream... Uh, my internet crashed. Uh, last, th my final stream of 2023, uh, internet went down. Uh, and after that, so, you know, that wasn't fun, but after that, because during December, I mentioned this before as well, during December, there was a limited time event for a collector's, uh, uh, an Easter egg hunt, almost. If you find enough items during December, you, you know, get your name on an easter egg wall in the game itself so i wanted to do that right i wanted to collect all of the things but i didn't have time to do it on stream so what i did is i made a new save file started a brand new game just 
explicitly to hunt out hunt down those easter eggs and get my name into the game the problem is that easter egg hunt save overrode my stream save you know the game that i've been streaming up until now that was gone so what i had to do was uh start a new game and uh get to the same point as i did on stream which i've done I did the same quests and visited the same areas as I did on stream. It didn't really take a uh, didn't really take a long time, but you know I had to do it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if things look different from the previous videos and the previous streams, that's why. Because this is technically a new save. I just did the same exact things as before. So, <laughs> so we're. Technically gonna continue where I previously left off. Uh, just yeah, slightly different. Some of my skills are gonna be different. My I'd forget what a level I even was before. But we're here, right? And oh, so I think I'm just gonna continue and do random quests. <laughs> previously, we we did go to the gods. Spoke a little bit to the Slavic Pantheon, spoke to the Christian God. Were tasked to find Perun's hammer. No, oh, black screen. But we also have a few side missions to do. I think I'm gonna do those first. Because I do technically also have some knowledge from uh, uh, when I collected the Philosopher's Scrolls for the uh, limited event. Alright, so I'm gonna finish this quest. Uh, the alchemy, I kinda finished halfway through because I ran out of God's blood. So for this quest, I need God's blood and North Wind. There we go. Grab the potion. Get some dexterity going. I, mean, I don't really need dexterity that much, so I'm just gonna. Uh, hold on. Ah, there it is. I'll just drink the potion, get my dexterity. I'm not sure if dexterity really helps this build. Because, like, dexterity obviously will help archery. Alright. Continue training. More potions. Now it's time for experience. Go and gather a hundred plants and store them. You will need them for the next task. Will I? I've gathered a lot. I'm not sure if it's a hundred, but like I have a lot. Just my my thistle alone are thirty-five. Uh, all right. I guess go. Oh. I think the progress does count from before. Yeah, collected. Oh. The villagers of Nevreme have a bounty on you. 5,000 gold. The bounty keeps increasing. Jeez. I'd rather not, though. I couldn't even see the guys. I, I assume they were here somewhere. Alright, they didn't even have time to load in. <laughs> I collected plants, Granny. I have saved something for you. Oh, saved what? As I have instructed you to save those plants, I want you to craft 50 potions of any kind. Once you're done, come back to me. How many have I... Because I crafted quite a few for this quest alone, like... Over 10. Because uh, I think it does keep track of how many I've made. So let's just use something I have I have a lot of. Is this a potion? No, failed recipe. Damn. Oh, no. Isn't that a failed... Well, you made a failed recipe. It, it did something. It crafted something. Alright, well. What about this then? 
New recipe discovered. Let's go. For the next five minutes, increase your blunt skill. Oh, I mean, I don't need that as a druid. All right, so she does not keep track of anything. I guess I gotta do this on my own, huh? All right, what else do you want from me? What about the lady smoke? The new recipe. It's a healing potion. Neat. All right, so d doesn't it say how many I've crafted? Also, does this count as th crafting three potions? Because because I used like two ingredients, which resulted in three potions. Does this count as three potions, Granny? Because I kind of I need some tips, Granny. What am I doing? I need help. I'm completely lost. Drink this again. Increase that dexterity. Okay, what else can I craft? What about the thistle and the berberis? Ber oh, wait, crafted 20 potions. Oh, wow. I am way, way behind. Jeez. I'm not even halfway through. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, well, okay, wait, no, wait, no. Uh, now I can verify. It said 20. Now. It didn't say anything. Wait, why what, 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 what was it different this time? No, the first one, the better berries. Or do you want me to discover different potions? Not, cra not just craft them. Is that what you want? Because I don't think your instructions were very clear, Granny. I think you're just messing with me, honestly. Alright, okay, let's do some shrooms. What if I use the same ingredient? What happens then? A failed one? Yeah, a failed recipe. Alright, well, you know what? It was. <laughs> I wanted to try. I wanted to give it a shot. Oh, that was also a failed recipe. No, it wasn't failed. It was just. A minor healing potion. So does it just always need to be new? I'm gonna waste the god's blood on this. Does it have to be a new potion every time? I need to discover new or craft 50. I'm very, very confused about this, Granny. You are not even remotely being helpful, Granny. Oh, that's also failed. Yeah, that was actually failed. What about a Biestung and a Morning Izora? What does this do? Another failed potion. Well, it wasn't a failed recipe. Come on. I'm getting things, at least. Uh, what about some flowers? Red shoes and blue mountains. A forest wanderers would step on those and end up with red shoes used for alchemy. Blue mountain flower, as the name su says, usually found in mountains. Nope, another failed one. No flowers. No bouquet. What about the tongue and some flowers? Nope, also failed. Alright, what about this one? Poison weed and flowers. Aha. Crafted 30 potions. Oh wait, I am making progress. Okay, so I probably can just speed through it in certain ways. What about a thistle and poison weed? What's that do? Nothing. I can just sell them. Probably won't make a lot, but I can sell them. Why does it have a lot of nettles? Oh, uh, this one this makes, makes a healing potion. Okay. What about the big healing potions? Thistle and Morning Nizora. Uh, yeah, I could just make a, lo a load of these. 
uh, 21 morning is order and shove no shove 21 blessed thistles and just do this and crafted 50 potions there we go now I'm just gonna take a while for them to craft god that's so slow oh boy all right that's fine I can manage my inventory while well, that's happening I can put my alchemy supplies back one by one and the others I can sell most of them yeah there we go up my dexterity again let's go gonna be very dexterous even though I don't really need it I don't think There we go. 50 big, big boy potions. Damn. Gonna be super healthy. I did it, Granny. You made it this far. I consider you a friend at this point. I have some special and secret items just for you. Take a look. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, a fine alchemy bag. Oh, I was looking for you. Oh, yeah, I'm... 16,000 gold to buying you. Please and thank you. There we go. And, uh, what do you do? What are the books? Deal three more damage per skill point of alchemy. And what is my alchemy? Where are my skills? 81. So I can. Wait. That means I can deal a lot of damage, right? Three more damage per skill point. So that's 81 times three, which is a lot. Math. I am a fan of that, honestly. Now, the damage is better. The range is better. The attack speed is slower than what I currently have. But I mean, yeah, now let's try it out. Why the hell not, right? And I'm just gonna sell these little guys. And the failed ones too. And the poison potion. The next attack will slow the target. Uh, I, I don't even know if I can use it as a... a magic caster. One final increase in dexterity. There we go. And then I'm gonna increase my strength as well. Uh, blunt, so this one slash, yeah, I'm not slashing anyway. There we go. Uh, now I need to just replace my alchemist bag with a fine alchemist bag, which means get rid of everything from the bag. Oh, I don't have the space. Okay, there we go. I can, it's fine. No, I didn't mean to sell them. God damn it. That was my bad. <laughs> I forgot if you have the store open, it just sells them. Okay, now I can change my bag. Neat. And put everything back. Inventory management, isn't this fun? Isn't this just grand? But Alchemy ingredients in this bag weigh 60% less. The previous bag is just 50%, which honestly not that much of a difference probably, but... Yeah, every bit helps, I suppose. Uh, right, so you're done with. Uh, secret time screams at night. can probably do this. It is currently becoming night. What time is it? Still 10. Oh, actually, this cave over here. I believe this is the Easter egg cave. This is apparently where our names should be recorded. Those of us who collected the... Philosopher Scrolls. I haven't actually been. I don't know if my name is 
in here yet already. Uh, let's just save the game just in case. I did craft a lot of potions, so <laughs> I'd rather not lose that progress should something happen. Ooh, hello. Ooh, the attack animation is fun for this one. I'm not sure what I'm throwing exactly, but it's fun. <laughs> At least with the light, come on, move. At least with the other book, I know I'm throwing a lightning. This one is just weird. Ah, a whole lot of you. Jeez. AOEs are great. I did try to play the game with other classes. Like I did try to uh, play on the uh, the actual challenging mode, you know, off stream. And honestly, just the druid is so good. I just I love having the a AOEs. It really saves my butt so often. Other than again, I have only played the druid this much. And the other classes I just played the beginning parts of the game. I can't really call myself an expert on those. But at least from what I've seen so far. Fan of Druid. I'll play with the other classes as well. There we are. Oh, of course there's enemies. Dark rituals being performed here. Loot everything. There's a... Is that just a standard bag? Yeah, it's a standard bag. Sing me a new song. The world is transfigured. All the heavens are rejoicing. In halls of fame where shadows fall, go forth, return to heed the call. Behold the names of champions past, who trod these paths, their glory cast. For this wall, this wall in timeless lore, shall stand unchanged forevermore. Oh, this is the wall. Uh, the question is how to... Look at the names. I don't know, it's specifically this wall. Over here. The problem is I don't know... Oh, I went into the pillar. Uh, I'm not sure I was supposed to do that, but... <laughs> Uh, you're supposed to activate it somehow? Need the call. I wonder if that message was a... A guide how to activate it. I, I didn't get it. You also can't read it again, I don't think. Uh, how am I now? No, it might, there might be a way. Yeah, there it is. In halls of fame where shadows fall, go forth, return to heed the call. Where shadows fall. I mean, there's, there's a lot of shadows. I, these look like shadows to me. No, that didn't do anything. I don't think... No. You can't interact with them. They are... Fuming. There is, there is stuff coming out here. Where shadows fall. Go forth, return to heed the call. Uh, is this a puzzle we gotta solve to see the names? 
Uh, for this wall and timeless lore, shall stand unchanged forevermore. Alright, well, if it is a puzzle, I have no idea what to do. Casting spells around them is not working. Nothing to interact with that I can see. I don't, think, I don't think I can click this. I don't, I don't think this is the answer. No. I didn't increase my strength though. Oh well, uh, I guess I'll try to figure it out uh, <laughs> later. No idea what you're supposed to do to see the names. I was hoping to try and find my name. Uh, apparently will not be today, unfortunately. Maybe I'm just too stupid to figure it out. Maybe that's the problem. Alright, let's leave. What time is it? Hour 7? Wait. How long was I in here? There's no way it's... M I went in at... The actual hell? What? And who the hell are you supposed to be? Is there a reason for you to be following me? Are you guys from Nevreme? Are you bounty hunters? Oh, yeah, okay, there, there they are. And the bounty keeps increasing, okay. They just don't know when to quit, huh? So I was just randomly attacked by bounty hunters and devils. Sure, why the <laughs> why the hell not? May as well, right? There we go. But we do not have, now have the cave on the map. Apparently it's 8 o'clock in the morning. No idea how it became 8 o'clock. But fine. <laughs> oh. In a remarkable twist, a swamp previously plagued by goblins has transformed... Oh, the, I think I already got that message in the previous save. Apparently we can go collect mushrooms now. Uh... The, the rings, I think I can just sell, assuming she has money. Doesn't have a lot. But it should be enough to get rid of this. Alright, consume some XP. There we go. Nice and juicy XP. Juicy. Get rid of the bag as well. Yeah. Shoes. These shoes as well. Pants. How much money does she have? I can get rid of some pants. One more pants. There we go. Right, so can't do the screams at night quest because it's no longer night. Uh, an honest man, you got the answer. So one of the very first quests I picked up was to find an honest man, which apparently I found the answer over here, over this waterfall, just above where we fought the Leshi. May I rest in peace? <laughs> uh, that was the avatar of the god of knowledge. 
who was meditating on top of the hill. And he told us that every person is born honest. So children are the most honest ones. Which, you know, they can be. Most of them are brutally honest. They do not have any filters just yet. So they just say whatever they want. Now, is that answer going to satisfy good old Diogenes, Diogenes? What about a newborn or a child? A man is born pure. I can learn from the innocence of children. Are you content with that response? I shall accept it. It suffices. A Dajbok bow. I have procured the bow. I have gleamed enough knowledge here. I shall depart. We shall reconvene later. All right, well, see you around. And then you're still barking. Does the bartender have anything to say? Because you wanted me to get rid of Diogenes. There are ruins to the southwest of here. A man went there a few days ago. He has not yet returned. You could look for him. No, maybe I could. To the southwest, I believe. Yeah, it's these ruins. Yeah, I can go there. Any other... Yeah, no, just same old thing. Okay. You only offer one quest at a time. That's, yeah, that's fine. Now, how about... Oh, that's a pretty expensive bow. Uh, I'm gonna sell you some things. These armor... Oh, this is the same armor I currently have, just poor quality. Get rid of that. Get rid of these. No, not not enough money for that. That's fine. I have more things to sell you. Don't worry. I'm gonna bleed you dry. And when I'm done with you, I'm gonna go to the other merchants. Plenty of people to talk with and take their money. Oh, you didn't have the money for this one. I think I guess that's... Oh, that's also in, in a divine bow. I have two divine bows. Which I don't need because I don't use bows. No, can't sell this. You don't have the money for it. There you go. And I have one point that I could spend. Uh, there are plenty of upgrades here as well. So many points. These are all the spell upgrades. The uh, where are the down? These are some damage upgrades. <coughs> spell speed upgrade. Crowd control upgrade, so that's good for the freeze spell. I do like the freeze spell. The freeze spell is great. But these ones aren't fully upgraded. That's fine. Okay, right. What else is here? What else do we have? Secret tavern. That's all the way over there. That's right. And I did pass you know, by this area. I can probably go. Now, first, let's go over here. First, I'm gonna go to the ruins up there. <coughs> we were given a nice tip by the friendly bartender. Let's accept it. Because that is a, another area I just kind of walked past. I didn't really visit... The first time I w came here, just went directly for the Taskmaster. Oh, I assume... Wait, I assume this is you. You have not loaded in yet. But that is... Oh, there you are. I can see you now. How you doing? Are you the one that Yara sent here to help me? Is the... 
Is the bartender Yara? No, I just came across you by chance. You look capable of helping, helping me, even if Yara didn't send you. What do you need help with? I need something from the ruins in front of us. Why don't you take it? This place is filled with terrible beasts. But I cannot abandon my task. I can help. Alright, then sneak down to Trojan ru Town Ruins. And find me the recipe in the tower. What's in it for me? I can give you my spare bow. I don't really... I don't need bows. I have two divine bows. I don't think you have a better bow than a divine bow, my guy. Or pay you in coins if you prefer. I do, I do prefer the coins. Thank you. You can keep your bow. Oh. As a reward for your reputation in the alchemist community, you have been invited to participate in a secret festival that takes place on the 12th night of every month in the central orc oak woods. This is a rare opportunity to trade and not want to be dismissed. On the 12th day, it's currently the 7th. Alright, so we have a few more days. Uh, is, it, is, it, is, it, is this a quest? Oh, end of the month festival. Wait, end of the month, but it's on the 12th day. How long is a month in this universe? Uh, I do do that eventually. It's not currently the time for it. Got some ruins first. Uh, see. Are, these, are these things BS? I think, uh, yeah, yeah, they're BS. So far, they kind of seem like this game's version of goblins. Although, there are also goblins in the game as well. So, I don't know. <laughs> and they do seem to fulfill a similar purpose to goblins. The more smaller, generic fiendish enemy that you fight. Can I explore these houses? Nope. I don't think I can. Come on, no. No, I can't. So these are the ruins of a town. If it was more just, just, just like a tower? It was more like a fortress, possibly. Uh, they're growling and screeching coming from everywhere. And these gauntlets. Ooh! Gauntlets with bonus mana. That's nice. That's a hello, dumb she. Uh, well, welcome to the forest. Well, welcome back to the forest, I should say. It's good to see you. Happy New Year's as well. Oh, you're a big one. Happy New Year! I hope you've uh, you had uh, the a good time celebrating the holidays. Seriously, a busy time for everybody. You are one with nature. Well, I am a druid. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Have a self care package. All right, time to stretch. <laughs> time to reposition ourselves and take a sip of water. Gotta make sure we're taking care of ourselves. Are you the recipe I'm looking for? Strong poison potion. After slicing red on Amanita, let it rest for 10 minutes. Then cook wormwood in oil for 5 minutes. Before adding the sliced Amanita over it. So it doesn't have an actual like recipes. It does tell you what to do. It does it doesn't just give you the ingredients. That's really fun. Ooh, coins, diamonds, poison, poison, but not strong poison. Even though the recipe is here. Come on, get up. No, oh, get up. I said. 
And just some boots on the top of the tower. So, do the boots being here imply that somebody took off their boots and jumped off? Because like that, I feel like that's... That's the first thing that came to my head. I'm not sure if I'm just... The dark... Wait, what else is here? Is this the end of the ruins? I feel like this is, this is the end of the ruins. You're making poison, huh? Well, why do you need this recipe? It's not your concern. Red Amanita and Wormwood. That should be it. How can I repay you? Just give me the coins. Uh, feel free to kill whoever you want to kill. And I'm just gonna take your axe, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so if I go here again... How long will that take? Seven hours will pass, so it'll be... 3 a.m. No, not 3, that's... No. I think it'll be too early. I don't think I can complete that quest. That Go to the island, like, during the night. I think it'll be way too... That'll be 5 a.m. It's way too early. Let's go to the secret tavern. Let's explore this area. Thankfully, we have a teleport point over here. A bit of good old camp with our mercenary friends. All right, so this is yeah, this is this lake. Anything here of note? There's like regular, uh, just regular ingredients. Oh, a dream flower. That's always fun. Some free XP. Why? Why the hell not? You know. Oh. Oh, hello. Target developed, talent developed, sixth sense. Now that was a. What did it give me? 14 Astro Souls, that's 1,400 and the Morana Blood and Divine Magic Dust. Wow, okay. I mean, don't mind if I do. Didn't level up just yet though. <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, I'm not complaining. Wow. Because I did see a, a hint for these creatures that if you see a wisp uh, flying by at night, you chase after it. Never actually see one until now. Small. Rude. Behave. Zorom Vomrak. Oh wait, the, are you the friend from before? I have no idea what you're saying. Aragha. And... And you guys are skeleton? Wanna hear a joke about a roof? Yeah. The first one's on the house. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> the roof is on the house. And... And my first joke is on the house. It's a stupid joke. I Well, I liked it. Not as stupid as you are. Shut up. 
the dad jokes. Can I, can I borrow your skin? No, you cannot. Go gamble your money away. Uh, also, is this... Are you guys reserve? Wait, is this your friend? Did you just dismantle your friend? <laughs> Why is there just a skull here? Don't interrupt me. What's the, dif the difference between... A good joke and a bad joke? Timing! <laughs> what is the difference between a good joke and a bad joke? What? Timing! <laughs> oh, I get it. It is a smart one. <laughs> I did just today actually watch a, a video of the, some YouTubers who, you know, try to make each other laugh with jokes. And this was literally one of the jokes that they said. <laughs> a blind man walks into a bar. And the table. And the chair. That is a dark one. Quite literally. <laughs> How many jokes do you have? What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot? How did you know that? You're repeating yourself. Am I? Yes, you are. Why did the arrow lose her job? Why? She got fired! <laughs> yeah, I, I do like that one. Then again, I am very easily entertained. Why doesn't the vampire have any friends? Why? He's a real pain in the neck. <laughs> uh, I think this one's coming around. I think the red skeleton's coming around. <laughs> <laughs> to the jokes. Why did the arrow? Okay, yeah. This one, this one's a repeat. Okay. <laughs> More jokes than I actually expected there there to be. Want to hear a joke about the roof? Okay. Uh, right. So they just show here that I complete the quest. The real world is much smaller than the imaginary. I'd rather not think about that. <laughs> My apologies, human. Wait, aren't you human too? You look human. Your face is painted. Is that paint? But fighting is strictly prohibited here. We only allow gambling. How did you make horde members act peacefully? It's a matter of natural selection. Those who cause problems end up in the swamp. The same goes for humans. How does gambling work? It's simple. Pay your 500 coins, roll the dice, and hope for luck. What if I'm out of money? As a first time visitor, you get one roll for free. Oh, that's generous. Uh, there was another option. Are the rewards worth the money? I only see happy customers around me and those who are still alive. Okay then. Go ahead and test your luck on the first row, free of charge. Thank you. Remember to avoid fights. And you have a quest for me. I was so scared that I'm now afraid to leave this place. Wait, how are you speaking? Aren't you dead? Well, I mean, those guys were cracking jokes over there. Obviously not. What are those questions? But you have no lungs to speak. And you have no brain, yet you keep talking. <laughs> wow, how rude. What did you get scared of? I've seen lots of things, but this one really shook me to my bones. To my bones, do you get it? <laughs> uh, apparently skeletons are just very funny. They're very humorous. What do I do if I help? What do I get if I help you? I'll give you all the coins I've earned from gambling. I have 1,712 coins. I'll keep it for you. It's called a Drekovac. It was, it, it was with a ch, right? A Drekovac. The Screamer. You can find it near the swamp in the northwest, but only at night. 
Great, another night quest. Jeez. I'll hunt it down. Make sure to bring an extra pair of pants. Brown ones. Preferably. Alright, well, let's gamble. Row. Oh, I gotta stop it. Okay. 100 coins. And each next row is 500 coins. Do we gamble? We actually do like to gamble. I think I'm gonna gamble. Let's go. Uh, no, I lost 400 coins. Well, I had gained 100, so I only spent 400. Rolling again. Ooh, what's the heavy shield? Which is worth 1,700 coins. Oh, well, that's a win, I would say. Made my money. And some 600 coins. Interesting. Alright, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Anybody asks, you found that. Alright, so what, what time is it? It's day. Okay. Uh, there are things to check out out here as well. So let's check them out. And collect while we're at it. So I did previously use the deer necklace to transform into an animal. But the rabbit is just way faster. This thing zooms across the map. Like it's nobody's business. The rabbit is way fast. And collect some shrooms. Oh, it's an obelisk. Oh, and it's you guys again. Okay. How much is my bounty? It, yeah, man, it keeps increasing. Jeez. Also, why is one of you low on health? <laughs> Uh, I I do not I don't have the I'm just gonna pick up the light stuff like the food. Oh and a book as well. Wow. That was an expensive book too. And a human heart. You guys are hunting me? You're running around with a damn human heart. Wait, is this your heart? Am I plucking out your heart? Another expensive book. Wow. Alright. I have 25 god points. Like, mm. can I buy a divine? Why would I buy a random animal? Because you, you can just get those for fairly cheap. Why would you need to use your god points? Which are kind of a, you know, somewhat of a rare resource. You can buy some XP, god's blood mushrooms. Which I just picked up a ring of power, gotta be, or a positive talent. We can remove a negative one as well. What negative ones do I have? Sixth sense, you can see up to 50 meters further in spirit form and gain plus two range in ranged weapons. I haven't actually been using the spirit mode, honestly. Wait, I, th I have. I think I have to hold it. Do I have to hold it? Yeah, I do. The problem being that the map doesn't actually update where my soul is. It just remains focused on my actual physical body. Cannot talk to the guy while in spirit form. Okay. You enter this? Is this an enterable house? Oh, yeah. It's over here. No, door is locked. Okay. Alright, so we have a merchant. 
Welcome, me buying whatever you got to sell. What is this place? A Krupen spy with trinkets, and me be Krupen. Got stuff to pedal? Me got the shiny bits. Where do, where do those items end up? Stuff sneaks into the horde through the sneaky underworld black market. What is the underworld black? Oh, are we gonna get some secrets? Big heap of trash gets sold there. No humans allowed to barter. But they get swapped like any other thing. Alright. Oh my god. Wait, how... Oh, how how rich are you? Jeez. 560,000. Alright, well, I guess let's get to selling then. I got things to sell. Uh, the visionary book. I don't need that. Sticks. The bronze heart. It does give bonus. Mana. I, I don't think I need... I don't, think, I don't think I really need mana. I haven't really been running low on mana. I don't think if, if you can ro run low on mana. How do you run low on mana, even? I'll just... Sell these. Consume the spirit. Oh, wait, and I'll go get the other other items as well, because why not? Right. Nope, not the thing. Take this. Take this. Am I gonna have the space to required? And this. There we go. Oh, good. Leave no evidence behind. Yeah, let's trade, buddy. These are the same gloves I currently have. So, so, so. So, so. Nightfall pants. So, so, so. And from these items... Yeah, so this one, so uh, these are the same one, yeah, it's the same one, I believe. Yeah, it is. So, so, don't need this, don't need, uh, no, don't need it. This is the same one I currently have. And these books are... Same. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, gonna, gonna get rid of all of this. Found an exceptionally rich merchant. Yeah, if we could just use up the potions. Uh, place the potions here just to free up some inventory space. And these are upgrade materials. Right, so this guy's here. There's also a, also a camp up there. Let's go and say hello. Is it a good camp? Is it a bad camp? No, nope, it's a bad camp. It didn't even wait for me to say hello. Alright, well, the good news is I can just sell you all your stuff. To my new horde merchant friend. Well, that didn't take long at all. And I'm already over encumbered, dog. <laughs> uh, make have severely underestimated or overestimated my own capabilities. I can store some things to reduce their weight.
Well, let's not overdo it. Let's see what they have. Nothing in the chest. Some axe. Another axe. Oh, it's already night. It's already 10 o'clock. I can maybe do the, uh, the Rekavach. Better after de dealing with these guys. Executed. Lovely. Day one. Today I started building a new camp for our group. We've been scattered around for too long and it's time to have a place we can call all go home. Day 15. The camp is really starting to take shape. We're like a family. And having a real clo a real home is making us even closer. Day 60. Things are going really well with the camp. We've been taking on bigger jobs, making more money than before. We're also starting to get a reputation as one of the best bandit groups around. That means more work and also means more danger. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Day 100. The camp is now fully operational and I'm, and I'm proud of what we've built. Day 365. It's been a year since we started building the camp. We're making more money than ever before and we're taking on some of the most dangerous jobs around. We're, all, we're also helping people in need, which is something I never thought I'd do as a bandit. Oh, so they were helpful bandits. I know I'm really over encumbered. Right, maybe I can just dismantle some things. This is only one, really? Alright, let's get rid of these. Those are probably the heaviest as well. Yeah, this meant with the cheap stuff, because they can probably make better use of it. Not as worth to just keep it. Yeah, oh, that's gone. What did you have? No, oh, apparently they sounded like decent folk. Even though they did admit to being bandits, so I, I don't know, man. Well, they're dead now. They didn't even try to talk, so they probably weren't that good. Although I don't want to rush to the Drekavach. See if it's there. Drake, 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 Drake. Yeah, there it is. God, these things are creepy. Screaming like babies. I mean, they are indeed creepy, but they're not really that dangerous, are they? I'm not sure why you're scared of them. No, oh, I'm I'm already over encumbered. Damn. Wait, I had two hundred and ten. Is it because I'm? Is like my my morale low or something? The players holding too much in their inventory. Oh, is it because it's dark? Is that it? You slew it, and you're still wearing the same pants. Finally, I can move to my old my old bones. I'm not scared anymore. Take everything I have. And you got a free spin from me. Extra spin for the win. I just got it. Alright. I'm already over encumbered anyway, so... Man, as well, right? I have some new boots. Sure. I can... Oh, get the dream flower as well. I can move some things to the inventory. I don't think it's gonna help though. You know, it's definitely not gonna help at all. No, zero help. Am 
Wait, I was fine a second ago. Come on. It's day 9 currently, not still waiting for day 12. So we finished that night quest. There's then this night quest. Left. I don't know if this area is like complete. Are we just done in this zone? Uh, let's go to Grad. Nope, don't have the food. I need to assign some food. Wait, what? It require, requires food. I have some cheese, apparently. I don't, I don't know what you want from me. I don't think that helped. That wasn't enough food. And I can't eat more food right now. Great. Well, that didn't help me. So these just heal nothing. 10% 10, 10 hunger? That's nothing. Baked meat. There you go. That's food. That's what I call good eating. So, something I do like that if you click on a fast travel spot and then close the map when you close the map, map it's still on that same spot so if you like if you need food if you don't have enough food to fast travel you can just very quickly as soon as you open the map get right on there you don't need to scroll up to where you previously were